well hello youtubers so today i decided to prepare one video tutorial that is related to html5 api window notification system i already prepared one video long time back where i explained how this feature works so go ahead and watch those tutorial then you can see this tutorial as to how we can connect our html5 desktop notification to the database so enough about talking let's get started so i have prepared some of the codes for you so i will walk you through step by step what i did so let me just start with the project directory structure so if i open my text editor so there is a folder with the name html5 api in which it contains images the html5 and there is two php files now this php files is actually a rest api file or you can say a simple file which is used to interact with the database it's not necessary that it should be in php it could be in dotnet also it could be in python also depending upon on which language you are comfortable with since on my pc php server was installed so i created the web service in php platform now what it does it connects it with the sql database mysql database it queries the database because you can see here the query out of it and now then it returns the result and the result is written in a json format so i have made a variable which makes the format as json and then it returns when you make an api request please note that the file name is web api get.php the second file is mainly with the same thing it connects with the database but however it adds a new data inside a table of a particular database so this script is related to php so in order to run this complete project you need to have some kind of a server php server then only you can run this code so i am not walking you through through this tutorial about how i prepared this code to interact with the database this is out of the scope right now but you can see that there is two files with the api get and the second one is post this get is for fetching the data from the sql database and this post is inserting a new record inside the table the database that we are targeting is Lendain app. So if I open my database, so you can see that there is one database with the name Lendain app, and inside this, we are targeting this categories table. So this table we are targeting for fetching the data as well as inserting a new record. Okay. Now, after that, after we have this script available, now in our desktop app.html file, you can see that we have included the jQuery reference. And if you have not seen my previous tutorial, I strongly recommend that you watch the previous tutorial but i will give you the brief walk you over this tutorial also now this anchor tag is for requesting the permission and the second one is to trigger the message in an pop-up way so this particular click event handles whether the permission was given by the user to show the notification or not the second event handler is basically to trigger the custom message displayed as a small pop-up 
and insert row is basically to insert a new record inside this particular table which is categories table so what happens is that so if you come to this application for the first time what happens is that if I reload this page so if you are not granting any permission and if you directly click on trigger it will ask you to please allow the notification first so if I request the permission first it gives a small pop-up stating like do you want to allow it or block it if I allow it then it gives an alert box stating you allow to show notification and then if I click on trigger just see on the right hand side what it is happening so you can see that there is some message coming out in the pop-up and this party lunch and dinner if you see carefully these are actually coming from database the next one is breakfast hangout shopping so if I close this so you can see that breakfast hangout shopping and if I close these two then you will see the next two message which is uh, which is test this number and uh, one more test okay so if you are going to click on this you will get the id particular id so if i say the last digit is five zero and what is the id for it the last digit is five zero the id is seven so it's giving the current uh, correct ID number now how do I achieve this now since I told you that we already have one kind of a simple rest API where we just fetch the records and it returns the uh, response to the JSON format now if I see the desktop app.html file when you click on the trigger link so when you click on the trigger link and if permission is enabled then see we are using the get request of ajax right so this is the particular file path where the php file is located and once this is executed it returns the response in data variable and since our data is in json format so we are passing the json format and then we are iterating over each item in json and creating a new notification object now this uh, the first parameter is your title of the notification and the second parameter is the body on the left hand side you can see that which images you want to display and this tag is the unique ID that differentiates between different boxes so and if if you are clicking on one of the message then it shows that particular unique id so if i again run this so if i click on this since the id for this is one so it tells one and if i click on this since the id is three so it gives the three so on click also you can navigate to some another location showing some detailed message right so this things can be done and now it is connected with SQL database now the best thing is that right now there is one more function now this is the API w uh, web API get.php so if I refresh this you can see that the data is returned and it's returning into JSON format now check here that the ID is 8 and here also the maximum ID right now is 8 now if I click on insert row so you get a pop-up because it's again using an API call to create an entry inside the database so if I refresh this so you will see that a new ID is created with the name uh, with the value 9 and uh, this is the some uh, random unique number so this is the uh, value that it is being populated 
and now if I again run this web API in PHP you will see that one more entry on the right hand side is added so if I click on this you can see that one more entry is added now you can see that if I am going to trigger it so now it's 4 so you will see that 9 will appear so you can see that 9 is now appearing so it's dynamic so whatever data is being added so it will show it as an desktop notification api so this is the complete code i am going to share that code please let me know if you have some kind of a difficulty in understanding this it's very simple because it's using the api to fetch the records from mysql database then whatever response is written it is passing those response it is iterating over each item inside the response it's creating a new notification object and these are the parameters that are defined inside this notification object and then we are allowing it to show it in a pop-up way now the top one is definitely for permission because until and unless you granted the permission the notification cannot be shown so first you need to uh, grant the permission the second you can then trigger it to show the notification in a pop-up way and this insert row is creating a new entry inside our table which is categories table so after that once you have inserted into that table click on the trigger link on the ui which is this trigger link on the ui and then it will show the newly data that is being added so i hope that you enjoyed this tutorial please let me know if you have any difficulty i can break down the code and i can explain you more so waiting for your keen feedback and have a great day thank you everyone for watching this tutorial and have a great day bye